Okay, it's a new day. It's time for a new daily video. Um, today I want to talk about, you know, these people who are radical in their beliefs. Like, um, I've done in a previous video about um, feminists, you know, that's, if you, there's all kinds of radical people, like, um, radical or militant atheists, Christians, Muslims, you know, whatever you want to call them, and then there's, um, there's militant civil rights groups, and, you know, the thing is, you can be, you can believe in something all you want. That's perfectly fine. But the second that you start to think that it's okay for you to push your beliefs on anyone else, that's where the line is drawn. It's not okay for you to do that in any way, shape, or form. You are allowed to express yourself, but you're not allowed to push your beliefs on others. Because other people are allowed to believe what they want to believe, and if you push your beliefs on others, that is you trying to force them to believe something other than what they believe, and that's just not okay. Like, um, um, anybody who's religious, like a Bible thumper, and they'll tell you you go to hell for, you know, for, for saying, like, damn, or, you know, saying, like, damn shit, whatever, you know, it, it, that's ridiculous. You can't tell me I'm going somewhere because I don't believe in it, you know. And someone who's going to say you're going to hell if you don't believe in God, that's completely, completely wrong to do. You, you just can't do that to people. I mean, you could say it, but it doesn't make you, it doesn't make it okay to say it. You know, because, once again, you're pushing your beliefs on someone else. But, um, no, and atheists will do the same thing to Christians and other people of other religions. Like, um, a show I actually watch, um, called The Atheist Experience, a lot of what they do is challenge other people's beliefs, and not only in an intellectual sense, like, I challenge you to prove what you have to say is true, but they know, they understand by now that the Christians aren't going to you know, they're not going to have any actual proof, because to the, the, to any religious person, religion isn't about proof. It's about faith. And faith is the absence of evidence. You know, and regardless, the, you know, the atheist experience, the people on there will just continue, continue to bait them in and be like, you know, be like, oh, why don't you prove there's a God, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it's just, what's the point? You know, why would you do that? It seems completely ridiculous to me. I mean, I'll still watch them, because every once in a while they can be kind of funny. But, I mean, it, it's just, it's not productive. If you want someone to be an atheist or a Christian, or anything else, you have to get them to believe on their own without pushing it on them, because otherwise it's not really a true belief. You've just basically brainwashed them. You want them to believe of their own free will, because then they actually believe, you know, through rational decisions and, you know, their own intelligence, basically. Um, but yeah, anybody who's radical and crazy and thinks that, you know, one particular group should, you know, not exist or, you know, one particular group should should exist above others, it, it's just insane. Why would you do that? Just because you're insecure and you want to feel better than other people, so you have to go out and do that. You know, that's why I think people do it, because they're either, you know, so delusional that they actually think that they're better, or that they're really insecure, and 
if they don't do this, they feel inferior. So, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say. Just live your life in tolerance and acceptance of others, and never try to push your beliefs on anyone else.